Thank you very much. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, this is really a great, great honor for me. I'm very, very proud to be here this evening. And I would like to introduce my family. I know Johnny started, but there are some members of the family I really want you to meet because uh, this is really the first time that many members of my family have ever had a chance to visit Michigan State. Of course, you've met my wife, Claudeth. Will you stand again, please? And Johnny mentioned my three daughters, but there's Lisa, Gina, and Maya. Will you stand, please? I'm delighted also that my brother, my brother-in-law, and my three sisters are here this evening from the Houston, Texas area. Uh, my sisters, uh, Mary Carter, uh, Essie Hebert, and you just heard about our sprinter, Ipanetta Parker. Uh, my brother-in-law, Travis Parter, Parker. And lastly, my brother, John Washington. And his uh, fiance, Ethel Haley. Uh, you just heard from Coach Peoples earlier, and I would like to also thank his lovely wife, Ms. Audrey Peoples, would you stand, please? And there's another special guest that uh, uh, I did not know he was coming here tonight. He's very, very close to me. as, as Mr. Strahan. Uh, Coach Strahan, uh, would you stand also? Coach Strahan was, the, uh, was my basketball coach at uh, George Washington Carver, and he was also the football coach, and, and really, this is really a big surprise for me because it's been many, many years, I won't say how many, that we last saw each other. And so it's a pleasure to have him here this evening. It really means a lot to me to have my family, Coach Peoples and Mrs. Peoples here tonight because as I said earlier, uh, this is the first time that many members of my family have been here at Michigan State. And of course, they'll have a chance to see the first, uh, their first game in Spartan Stadium. So I'm, all, I'm very excited about that. My parents are responsible for me being here tonight. And I regret that they could not be here with me this evening. I lost my father to cancer about 16 years ago. My mother, who celebrated her 75th birthday this past spring, could not make the trip from Texas because of her health. But I know both mom and dad are here with me tonight in spirit. They gave me love and they gave me great support to work hard and to make sure that I graduate from high school and college. I'm very proud to say this evening that there are some other people who are also very responsible for me being here tonight. I grew up in a totally segregated schools in the LaPorte Baytown, Texas area near Houston. I will always be very, very grateful to the faculty and to the staff of George Washington Carver High School. I say that because from 1959 through 1962, I was always taught that despite the segregation, I had to succeed in the classroom to be successful in life. They always pushed me to believe that I could successfully compete in an integrated environment. I always received the same encouragement from Coach Peoples and all of my high school coaches who coached me in basketball, track, and baseball. I must also say this evening that Duffy Doherty is also very, very responsible for me being here tonight. As I look back on the encouragement I received in my high school years, Duffy's help and encouragement and support was equally very, very important. Duffy gave me an opportunity to demonstrate my ability in a situation where everybody competed. 
and the color of your skin was never an issue. I really appreciate all of the football honor honors I have received. But more importantly, thanks to Duffy, I'm very, very proud that as a student athlete from all black George Washington Carver High School in Baytown, Texas, with a high school graduating class of 65 students, I graduated from Michigan State University with a bachelor's degree in four years. And also with Duffy's support, I returned during the offseason of pro football and also completed a master's degree from Michigan State University. In addition this evening, I must also thank my track coaches, Stan Dietrich and Jim Gilbert, who also gave me great, great support and encouragement that I could be successful in track and that I could also be successful in the classroom. In concluding my remarks this, this evening, I would like to thank all of my football and track teammates who also worked hard and represented Michigan State University to the best of their ability and were a part of my family. I share this great honor with them tonight. I would also like to thank some other key people here who also was very, very helpful. I remember my freshman year, that was John McVeigh, Wayne Fotz, of course, Bert Smith. I remember the trainers that was, were very helpful, Gail Robinson and Clint Thompson. I remember our equip, equipment manager, Ken Early. I remember our coaches, Al Doro, Ed Rutherford, Vince Carlott, Hank Bullitt, of course, Cal Stahl, Danny Barster, Gordy Sir. And I had, I had many, many special friends here at Michigan State. Dr. Hanna, of course. Uh, I always remember all the conversations I had with Biggie Munn. Jack Breslin was very, very supportive. Bill Bursley. Jack Singleton, who is still my, my dear, dear friend. He was very, very helpful to me. Sylvia Thompson. And of course, Terry Braverman here. Uh, Nick Vista. Fred Stabley and Father Mack, who you heard earlier. There, was, uh, there are many, many fond memories that I have in Michigan State, and, I'm, and I'll always remember, remember Michigan State. And lastly, I'm very, very grateful to Claudeth for her love and support. It continues to be a wonderful and beautiful journey for us. Through eight years of courtship since the ninth grade in high school at George Washington Carver, and through 25 years of marriage. Claudette has been my number one friend and my number one teammate. I thank you very, very much for this honor tonight.